Uh, welcome, Terry Sullivan. Uh, it's Friday, uh, Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving, the holiday at SPL, and their holiday policy is harming solvent recovery people. Uh, but the feedback I've been getting is, why should we move a holiday if it falls in a solvent recovery department's day off, one of those employees, because they have five days off every two weeks, which makes me think you don't understand basic math. And I had this problem with HR manager uh, MS. She didn't understand, you know, why do you need so much time off? What's wrong? You've got so much time off. You get five days off every two weeks. So let me get the pen. See if it's working here. Okay, it's working. So an office person, the office, I might as well write that, right? Office, they work. 80 hours every two weeks. And I'm just going to abbreviate weeks with a WK. There are 52 weeks in a year. Two, again, just WK in a year. Well, let's see. Weeks cancels with weeks. And the two, that cancels with the 80 and makes it 40, right? So 40 times 52 is 2,080. And the only units left since we canceled our weeks is hour. So 280 hours per year. That's what an office person is scheduled at SPL. Okay, simple math. Well, now I got to hold and move. So now let's take our solvent recovery person. Gosh, this pen's hard to move. They work 48 hours one week, plus 36 the next, for a total of 84 hours every two weeks. So the same, the units are the same for the office employee and uh, the solvent recovery employee. It's two weeks. But you can see here, the number of scheduled hours for a solvent recovery person is higher than the office person. The office person is scheduled to work 80 hours every two weeks. The solvent recovery person is scheduled to work 84 hours every two weeks, a larger number. And if we multiply that by 52 weeks in a year, and this is where you guys lose it because you know solvent recovery gets five days off every two weeks, certainly they don't work as much as an office person. So 84 hours, right? There's the pen, every two weeks. Right, and there's 52 weeks in a year. And again, you're multiplying by constant, right? So when you have that, we'll cancel our weeks. We're left with hours per year. The two cancels with the 84. That gives you what? 42. 42 times 52 is 2,184. That's 104 hours more scheduled for a solvent recovery person than an office person. In uh, I forgot my units here. We got to have our units. No sense doing all that math without our units. 2,184 hours per year. That's more. But if the holiday falls on an office person's day off, a Saturday or Sunday, they'll move that so that they get extra time off. They're already scheduled less than solvent recovery person, and we're gonna make sure they get all their holiday. But the solvent recovery person, if it falls on their day off, it doesn't move. So when they didn't change the holiday policy for July 4th and Labor Day after admitting their holiday policy was illegal, I kinda lost it. It kinda went crazy. Because the policy had been illegal the whole 10 years I'd worked there, and they'd known it was illegal, for the last eight years that I worked there. And when I complained, and I complained each and every year to Solvent Recovery Pank Manager DO that that holiday policy was wrong and needs to be fixed, and they ignored me. So when I got angry after they didn't change the holiday policy after they knew it was illegal and let two holidays pass, yeah, I got a little upset. So they, uh, they got rid of me for, you know, disrespecting management. Um, they've been effing me for over 10 years on this holiday policy. 
without so much as a reach around. So I kind of complained. And I do believe I had a right to complain because over 10 years since Solvent Recovery works an extra 104 hours more than an office personnel, over 10 years, that's over 1,000 hours, 1,040 hours. And July 4th came and I got an opportunity to spend that with my family after being scheduled 1,040 hours more away from my family. And you wouldn't even give me those eight hours to make up to my family after 10 years of being screwed. Well, here's the math behind it. Even though they get five days off every two weeks, they are scheduled to work and they are there longer than an office person, yet they move the holiday for the office person. That's why I lost it. I will publish the emails I sent uh, to SPL uh, so you can read them and see how disrespectful I was. Uh, I got to get a website. I don't want you using. Uh, you know, my folder and downloading them. Um, so I'm going to get a website domain and uh, put them up there for you to lose. And yes, I'm still here. Uh, here's my whiteboard. It's simple math. It's simple math, people. It's illegal. And they're doing it to the people that are scheduled to work more than the office people. So I've contacted Congressman Pocan and Senator Tammy Baldwin about this. I don't want... Uh, the human resource manager, MS, and the manager of the whole site, DK, doing the analysis into whether the solvent recovery bank manager, DO's phone, had inappropriate materials. There's no reason they should be investigating themselves. So I've asked Congressman Pocan and Senator Tammy Baldwin uh, to investigate the disrespectful material on DO's phone because the HR manager and the head DK should not be involved in the investigation. It should be independent. 